I would first talk to your landlord and see what the options are. But from there, paint makes the biggest impact for the least amount of money, adding draperies that just really warm it up, and then swapping out things like hardware and lighting and make it really feel like yours. always recommend keeping your walls and your big upholstery pieces neutral because this gives it longevity to really change things up whether it's a holiday or you just want to bring in a new color you can introduce any type of color into a neutral palette you're gonna want to stick to two or three finishes and you just want to make sure that they complement each other and don't compete with each other. And you also want to make sure they're kind of in the same tone. So picking a warm polished nickel with a satin brass would be a great combination versus going with a chrome. I would definitely say go with a white sink. Most of the time, I will just pick a sink that is going to really fade into the counters, so it just gives it that seamless, clean look, especially when you have a lot of other things going on. While I can't say the exact value of um, renovating a bathroom will give to your home, I can say that if you are planning to sell your home, having your bathroom remodeled or at least updated is gonna be a huge bonus because when people walk into a home and they see projects, they get stressed out and are a little more apprehensive. So giving it that fresh look is definitely gonna add value. When you have an open floor plan, and actually generally just for all common areas, I like to stick to one color. So the way that you anchor each space isn't by the color, and it's gonna be like using rugs and what you do with your furniture that's really gonna make the difference. There's ways to make it feel brighter without getting that natural light. At least on your upper cabinets and the walls, I'd say keep it light and it's gonna help make it feel brighter and bigger. And then if there's a wall in the kitchen where you can bring in a mirror, those always help to reflect light into a space and give the illusion of a window. You want to think about the lighting in the space and so do you have a lot of light or is it dark? If it's a darker space, you probably want to keep those floors lighter. And if it is a lighter space, you could really go both ways. One thing I always ask my clients is whether they have animals, whether they have children. Um, on darker floors, when that light shines in, you're going to see a lot more on it. So I like to keep things light to medium, and it hides a lot more, and it keeps things bigger and brighter. Marble is absolutely my favorite. There's so many varieties of it, and it's just rich, it's warm, it's gorgeous. I always like natural stone. Um, but I'd say probably 95% of the jobs that I do, I'm using quartz, and that's because it is incredibly durable, and you they have so many different looks where you can achieve the same as marble, which I know is so popular right now. I love incorporating wallpaper into certain spaces and that's usually going to be like a small half bath or an accent wall in a bedroom or even like an office and it's just a place where you can have a little fun without it being too overwhelming in some of your common areas. The style that I gravitate towards for myself would be a mix of classic and contemporary. I like bringing those two together for a really warm but clean aesthetic. So I definitely gravitate towards cast iron sinks. I especially love the apron front sinks. Um, you can use these in more of a classic setting and as well as something more modern. And they are not only durable, but they are very beautiful. That wraps up the questions that we had today. Um, feel free to ask more, even something more specific to your project, and I'd be happy to answer them in the next Q&A.